Water is such a complex liquid actually on the molecular level and we don't really think much about it. It's transparent, odorless. We just turn on our sink in many parts of the world and just flows through. But many parts of the world face water scarcity and this will only get worse due to global climate change. So understanding water at a fundamental level can help us develop new technologies that will allow us to create clean water. My name is James Han Zane. I'm a PhD student here at MIT in the Mechanical Engineering Department. I work with Professor Gan Chen to study how light at different wavelengths interact with liquids at the surfaces. Many people are developing advanced materials to put on the surface of water in order to extract liquid water out in a form of gas. And this is a way to remove the water from all the contaminants and salt so that you can then recondense that into a liquid phase that people can actually drink, use to cook, wash your clothes. The issue here is that evaporation is fundamentally limited by the latent heat of evaporation. Water has a bent shape, kind of like this. And because of that, they form these very complex hydrogen bonding networks. And you need to break these hydrogen bonds in order to evaporate water out. What we hypothesize is that direct photo evaporation could be a new way to circumvent this thermal limit. If I have like these two water molecules, for example, that are connected together and they're leaving as a group, the hydrogen bonds between them within this group are not broken. And what we think is that this evaporation process does not remove individual water molecules, but actually clusters or groups of water molecules. And then this is our theory on how we can actually exceed the thermal limit of evaporation so in a way, we're kind of cheating the thermal limit because even though we're evaporating still large amounts of water, we're not breaking all of the hydrogen bonds in the thermal limit. This is the photomolecular effect. And using it, we can hopefully not only produce lots of clean water for communities around the world that currently don't have access to fresh water, but also give us a new appreciation for this transparent colorless common liquid that everyone knows but don't really think about necessarily on a day-to-day -day basis.